After a long week of sitting, I could really use a high. So I called my COVID-free friends, did a brainstorm and decided for a route. This is a visual story of a Sunday evening in the Carpathian mountains. A story of a trip with my friends and myself following them with a camera like a creeper. Let's dig in the story. Pekta, all of us in the car, heading to the trail. Um, nature got us surprised with some serious quantities of snow. Because we got stuck. We tried to push the car, no success. We needed a change of plan. Well, we are in the Carpathians. Cool trails everywhere. It didn't take long to choose another trail, which was pretty close to our current location. Yeah, yeah. I also observed my lens is muddy from time to time. More like always. I promise I'm working on it. Enough talk. Hit the road, Jack. <laughs> Pro tip. During hikes, make sure you always adapt what you wear to your body temperature. Nor sweating nor freezing your ass is gonna help you on the long run. Given the deepness of the snow dear nature gifted us with, my friend decided to groove up with some hiking gaiters. Very nice! This thing prevents snow entering your boots, which can easily happen in knee-deep snow. Wa wa wee wa! Tea time. Most of the trails around here have an associated sign. One of their purposes is to guide hikers straight to the objective point and back without getting lost and becoming barefoot. There's always time for that next great insta pic. Hashtag freezed my ass, hashtag oh there are some bare footprints, hashtag run. Impatient and adventurous, we made the five stars decision to cut the rope knee-deep snow. Later we discovered how our imaginary shortcut was actually longer than the signed trademark. Afterwards, someone had the brilliant idea to actually check the map so that we can find our way back to the signed trail. Reaching out to an open field, with our energy getting some heart beating, we were welcomed by these cool signs. Avoid the sheep flock. Watch out, the bad dogs. Famous last words. Hold your horses. It's winter. Ain't nobody up here but us cuckoos being bored of the city. Keeping our steps in the open field, we found this cottage where shepherds used to sleep and prepare cheese during the warmer seasons. As with any place in the middle of nowhere, I took a careful attitude and approached the building with my bear spray. Wa wa we wa! Nothing. This was a great time for us to take a break. Grabbed our sandwiches, teas, breads, boiled eggs, whatevers, and filled up our energy levels. Remember, leave the place at least as good as you found it. Keep it clean. You see, we were not really the most early birds that day, and we started our trip a bit late, around 1 p.m. But the sun sets around 6 p.m. At least that's what we thought. Thus, afraid of the forest night spirits and the possibility of a panic attack, by walking the forest in pitch black with our phone lanterns, we decided to head back to the car. But wait, we couldn't just leave without taking that awesome group pic with that awesome background panorama which will remind us for the rest of our lives about that uncompleted trip. Okay, let's go home. Heading back to our cars, we realize that it is almost 6 p.m., but the sun is still up. Apparently, somehow we forgot that once spring kicks in, God releases this update, which makes sunset happen a bit later than during winter. 
but this meant for us one thing. We got more time to play! Most of our hiking was cloudy with no sun whatsoever. But full of joy, we observed the stars shining above our heads. You can't go ungrateful with that. Thus, we decided to do the sun dance. In order to persuade the sun give its shyness throughout the whole year. Finishing up the process with a tribal pose for more karma points. Sun was very happy with our gifts, giving us more shines than ever. Full of joy, we unleashed our kid energies, bringing alive our dear friend, Snowman! <coughs> but Snowman wasn't so happy with us, yellowing his empire. So he ate us. The end. Thank <laughs> you.